tumbling face. Best looking kid in the whole school. Sometimes I wish you were dead. <laughs> Go ahead. No, Danny, put those back and come over here and help me put these back instead, will you, Danny? We tried taking sugar out of his diet, it made him worse. Get out of our way, Alex! I'm coming! You stay with me. Danny! Hang on, Danny! You find an August to Delhi. What do you mean you get a Delhi? What's a cube? I've got to get out of here. Well, then I won't bother then, will I? Go and find him. Boxes are for the other shoppers. Can you get a disease from catching caterpillars? A rash. Sometimes. Come on. <coughs> Look, why don't you go and get yourself something while we do this? Big mistake. Well, what do you want me to do? Tiny the bloody trolley? Right, I'll pay. You take him out. No. Two things. Everything. No, that's greedy. You told me I could. No, I told you to go and get yourself something. Yeah, and I did. Well, that's too much. It's my basket. I don't tell you what to get. No, I tell you. You made me do that, you bastard. Baby! That's a lot of toilet roll. You must be in there all the time. Mega poo. Two plus off life, 240 sheets per roll. That equals 240 sheets. I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't you control him? Uh, no. Mrs. Plup, lady. <laughs> yeah, and it's rude to stare as well, OK? I thought he was going to be fine. He seemed fine this morning, but I'll come in my own the next time. I won't let you in. I better go. No, don't. It's all right. What are you looking for? Nothing. Then what are you doing that for? I'm making some toast. Where are you going? Upstairs. What for? Toilet. Better keep an eye on it while I do this. Look, my bowls are bulging. 
He's shit in his pants! Stop that! Don't be long and don't take the paper! Uh, sanctuary. Exactly. Well, well, how many motions am I allowed? Two. That's the uh, front page in the letter column. Clear that up. Lucy! <laughs> You're using this kickflip, heel flip, 360 only? Stay here with him. But I've got Bella upstairs. Yeah, she can come down. She won't come anywhere near him, not since he put the corkscrew up her dress. I can't leave him in here on his own. Yes, you can. He's into that. Lucy, I've just been to the supermarket. I don't need it, all right? I'll tell her to go. My two will be ready soon. Hello, Bella. I'll see you out. Stealthy. Shut up. It's the name of the trick. Not. Got no friends to play with now. At least I've got friends. for months. I keep having to go back to the beginning. I think you just read the back cover and have done with it. Bookworm. Bimbo. Boffin. Remedial. Only ones beginning with B. Right then. Bullock brain. Big bum. Balding. I'm not. Bitch. Don't call me that. I'm just going to begin to pee. Right. Right, well, come on then. Bad. Bad. <laughs> Body odor. Do you want to? Do you? I asked first. And you don't. All right, then. Because I don't have to do anything. I'm so tired. I don't really want to do anything either. That means we've only done it once in the last three weeks. Well, I won't tell anybody if you don't. Right. No. That's <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> I wouldn't mind, but she's only two days late. She had the predictor out before she'd even pulled the knickers out. <laughs> but you've been to the GP? Yeah, he's just being horrible. Chris thinks only 16-year-olds on cider should be having accidents. Mm -hmm. Accident? What was that ovulation chart doing in your drawer? He's delighted as I am, aren't you? Ah, yeah, I'm a sex machine. <laughs> <laughs> well, shall we have a toast to the happy event, then? Yeah. Happy yeah. Event. Cheers. 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 And let's hope it's human. <laughs> Get them from. You know the rule about him and scissors. Why didn't you try to stop him? Look what he's done to me. Mr. Marsh, I don't think he'd use a chainsaw. Did you have anything to do with this? Star charts. Cranial osteopathy. Oh, we even changed his why. diet in case it was a food know. intolerance. Just watch him. That's no bloody good to him, is it? Did he buy anything? I was only saying that shout there, you didn't have to start shouting at me. I'm sorry, Josh, I'm just a bit disappointed. Not okay? fizzy drinks in the I'll head. let you know as soon as I'm sorry. It's not Roll my fault. I didn't ask for these glutamate. scissors. All you have to say is, Mommy's got some scissors. Mommy's tried to cut my I hair. I found out was, was high in salicylates and low in amines. That's not splitting. That's being responsible, OK? Adam and How many times am I going to tell you? He's the one you should be telling, not me! 
We should have had them in tranquilizers instead. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Won't take long to sort him. Sorry, Dad. And then you get people to say, oh, he's a boy, don't worry, he'll grow out of it. I mean, have you ever seen a boy like that? I've seen a girl like that in the fucking exorcist. Well, maybe that's what we need. A priest, a crucifix and some holy water. Let Jesus confound you, let Jesus confound you, because I'll tell you what, he bloody confounds me. Born on the 6th of June as well, that's two sixes for a start, and let's face it, He's an evil little bastard! Sorry. Can't wait either. Where is he now? I don't know. Danny! 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 But from what I've read about it... How many times do you think we get parents coming in here saying their kids are hyperactive? It used to be dyslexia. They couldn't wait to label them with. Dyslexia is taken seriously now. Why can't this be? Because when I've had Danny in here one-to-one, -one, he's been fine. That's when he's at his best, when there's no distraction. But if you just see him when he's really in action, look, we'll even video it for you. How would you react to... The idea that there might be something wrong with Danny's brain. What do you mean? Do you think he should have a brain scan? I, I wouldn't want him to, no. Look, we don't want you to scare us off. We just want you to listen. In the States, when little Biff, Chip or Scooter looks like he may not grow up to be a lawyer, they get him diagnosed by a paediatrician and put on medication. There's so much pressure on kids to be perfect. But if they're just plain regular, they can't wait to get them assessed for ADHD, ADD, dyspraxia, or Asperger's syndrome. Just give Danny more time, eh? He's had years. We've given him years. A nice thing with a pair of pliers. Here we are. Please take a seat. Thank you. I'll be with you in a sec. Right. Here we are. Oh, that's very good. Are you happy? That's just like him. That's just like you, isn't it? You got me down to a T. Have to do it in just your pants. Shut up. <laughs> in your skinny old pants. So? He's always forgetting his kit. Still gonna be really funny. Yeah, it will be really funny. Dominic, Daniel, can you come and put the benches out, please? Sophie, Jaya, put down the box and come and give them a hand. Thank you. That's it. Well done, Jay. Miss, Miss Crowther, a ball. Stay on the mat. But I really want to do PE. Can't I do it with my clothes on? You know the rules. I'll take all my clothes off, then. Any more of that and you'll go to Mrs Marks. <laughs> I'm going to Lost Property, see if there's anything there I could try on. Just sit down on the mat. You don't sit down, if you. You do, if you're not dressed for it. I don't like sitting still. We noticed. Once again, you'll have to. But I really want to do PE. You can't! I could have you let me. Sit down! No! You'll go to Mrs. Marks. I don't care. Over there, now! I fucking want to do fucking PE, all right? Here we go again. 
Come on, Danny. <laughs> Only oh. making it worse for yourself. No, Just come no, no, along. No. I want to do PE. I know you want to do no. PE. You can't. You're not properly dressed for it. Will you, you come, come along? Mrs. Letts. He says her, hasn't he? Where would he go if you throw him out? What are we supposed to do with him? No head teacher likes to admit defeat with a child, especially when we've tried so hard with him. But this time it might just be a relief. <sighs> well, what about a suspension? Give him time to cool down and think about what he's done and... Uh, well, give Alex and me some time to really get, get it through to him. You haven't exactly had much effect on his behaviour so far. It's not our fault. Please, Mrs Marks. It's such a big thing to do to a kid. <sighs> OK. I'll still have to bring it before the governors, but I'll recommend a temporary exclusion. But one more episode like Thank this. Thank you. We teach kids, Mrs. Letts. We can't bring them up. Oh, there's Danny. Your mum's here. Is that Mary's bath? Yeah. Is Amanda there? Amanda who? Amanda Hug and Kiss. Wait a minute. Amanda Hug and Kiss? I'm looking for Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> I ever get my hands on you, you little... Uh... It's funny, if a man says it. shitty moment to the next with nothing in between. Just him. Because of him. About him. Around him. Here's the bit where I get to love him. There's an Ofsted inspection at the school next week, so obviously they won't want Danny around. Do you blame them? Yeah, of course I blame them. Schools only want kids these days that are going to push them up the sudden read tables. That school works hard. Why should he ruin it for all the other kids? He doesn't go and strike in the so much as farts in assembly. The school of action perfect children. What should they be doing next? I know what we should be doing next. No. In the last year he's just got worse, Alex. Do you know what the first question a psychiatrist is going to ask him is? Does your daddy like you to touch him when he's got no clothes on? That's a stupid. I'm not being 
that's stupid. It's instant diagnosis. If it's not dyslexia, then it has to be child abuse. Kids are withdrawn with that sort of stuff anyway, aren't they? Yes. This is a silly conversation. It's starting with a psychiatrist. So how are you going to cope in the next two weeks? I can't stay at home. I'll lose my job. You'll have to work from home and keep an eye on him. Well, fine. But I'll have a nice meal waiting for you every night when you come home. Well, what kind of meal? Well, pasta and <laughs> pesto. That's the only thing you can make. I can just see it now, two weeks of green stuff. Well, I'll make the sauce myself. Fresh basil and great wee bit of parmesan. Where do you get the pine nuts from? I'll climb up a pine tree. It still tastes like shit. I've done something to the sofa. I can put you in for 1.30pm on the 4th. That means you've got two appointments close together and two different osteopaths. If I get a cancellation on the 11th, how would that be? OK. I'll ring you as soon as I know. Thanks very much. Bye. Hello, complimentary clinic. Yes. Let me take him home. He's already at home with his father. OK, Danny, if you'd like to put your elbows on the desk, put your hands up to your face, and I want you to look really fed up. That's very good. At the present moment, my son's being denied an education. And the only thing that this is teaching him is that, you know, he's not wanted. So this is a protest against the school turning their back on him, and also a plea for them to allow him to come back in. Uh-oh. I didn't know I was going to do this until this morning. Thanks a lot. It'll be in on Friday. Right, well, thanks for coming along. Cheers. Cheers. I persuade her not to expel him, and then you do this. It's going to confirm every single prejudice they've got about us. Make everything worse. Teresa, the only thing that they're interested in doing is punishing them, not understanding them. And this is the best you can do to improve their understanding, this pantomime. I'm the king of the castle, and you're the dirty scumbag. He just I'm thinks this is a lot. And you're the dirty scumbag. I'm the king of the castle, and you're the Danny, dirty scumbag. <sighs> I'm his dad. It's what I thought I should do. This isn't dealing with it. This is just you poking your tongue out. Yeah, because, of course, the way that I look after him's never been good enough for you, has it? I just wish I could rely on you more. It would be more like you. Fuck you. Look at us. No wonder he's like he is. We didn't cause it. No, we're just making it worse. Danny, death. I went back to the bank after he was born, but no childminder could handle him, so I had to stop work. You were a financial advisor. How did you two meet? Um, very different worlds, I would have thought. A friend of mine dragged me along to this graduation show, and, and Alex had his work there. I didn't even know him, and he came right up to me out of the blue. <laughs> Don't look at all that crap, he said. Come and see mine. After we went to a restaurant and he'd smuggled in a bottle of wine, he was trying to open it under the table till the manager caught him. What did you like about him? Well, that sort of thing. He was unpredictable, exciting. More? And talented? Obviously. But you. Um, you stopped the portrait work. Yep, yeah, well, I, I don't have subjects set for me anymore, no. Why? I just prefer it. And the work you do now, um, portraits from, from photographs, how do you feel about it? It's OK. And the quality of the work? I, I keep my customers happy. I mean, you know, photorealism's all the rage in the art world at the moment. But you're not in the... 
art world anymore. When are we going to talk about Danny? I think, um, I think we need to, to keep talking. Blast you! Should we be letting him do that? Well, it's keeping him quiet. Hopefully till they get back. <laughs> Come on. We can keep an eye on them from here. Yeah. Good as gold. Oh, no trouble at all. Are you sure? Yeah, it's got an hour to handle him, that's all. Thanks, Dad. Ah, uh, this all the shrink and cure us, Danny. How did you get on with your, you know, doctor? Psychiatrist Helen. She wanted to know an awful lot about you and all the things that you did to Teresa in her childhood. I didn't do nothing. <laughs> He's teasing, Mum. Oh. Psychiatrist wants us to go back next week. Oh. Don't mind looking after him again, do you? Of course we don't mind. Come on. Go on. Yeah. He's a bright child. But he could do so much better. We see him failing, but we don't know why. Failing according to whose standards? Well, compared to his peers. We don't even want to play with him. I, I don't blame him. It must them, be but... very frustrating for you to have to watch him acting out. When he was three, when he was four, when he was five. It's just what kids at that age do. And you make a lot of allowances for your wee boy. But at six, we thought he was just immature. But at seven, we had to admit that, I mean, he, he just, he wasn't like other kids at all. And now, we're pulling our hair out. Do you know the way that he, that he thought things would turn out? The hope just drips away. Do you think that's what happened to you? Do you talk to him about your fears for him? If you mean do we go on him, of course we do. Well, it is normal for parents to resent their, their children sometimes. When I was pregnant with him, I just moved all the time. Kicked and kicked and kicked and kicked. And so when he came out, maybe I was ready for him. Ready for him to get on my nerves and carry on where he left off. And he has. Does what's expected of him. Makes himself hateful because he thinks we hate him anyway. I hate him. And I'm making it his problem. It's a fair cop, Gov. Sorry. Wait till we sign our confession. 
Is that how you see this process? Look at her. You call that therapeutic? She's even accusing herself of things that aren't true, <laughs> thanks to you. <laughs> Teresa, do you feel you own this problem alone? See, I get this. <laughs> Danny's a monster because I didn't make it as a painter. And Teresa hates me for it. But not as much as she hates herself for not being able to spread the word about peps and critical illness cover. So we covered Danny and all our shit about underachievement. Alex, that's enough. And hey presto, perfect recipe for fucked up offspring. <laughs> and you think I've just proved your point, don't you? Well, it's quite a short fuse you've... Oh, obviously, yeah, that's, that'll be another reason I'm screwing up. Well, I've got one for you. Explain Lucy to us. She's no problem at all. Mass sperm, her egg, equals fucking great kid. So we can't be that fucking useless, can we? And you haven't asked about her once. I think we'll leave it there for today. But he's right, isn't he? What about Lucy? See you both next week. No. You won't. Try and get our money back. Ah, at least we go early. <laughs> Don't have to go straight home then, do we? What is this lunch we're talking about? Well, just a plate of pasta somewhere that doesn't take too long. You ain't gonna stew. <laughs> Shall I ring in and see how they're doing with them? He plugged the iron in. Yeah, we panicked a bit when we saw it. Threw a glass of water over it. Where were you? Why is it always up to me? Mm. Yeah, well, at least you're on the sofa, eh? Where is he now? Out there. Well, he can bloody stay out there. Oh, I wasn't no angel when he was younger either. I was having led off the rooms at his age. I'm getting off school to play snooker, gambling, you know. But you didn't know any better, and you were poor. I haven't got bundles, have I? You grew up in Peabody buildings. Mm. And Danny doesn't live like that, does he? His parents are professionals. Well, you are, aren't you? Well, we know what Peckery is. You've changed your tune since last time. No, not really. Why can't you be stricter with it? I want to come in. Well, you can't come in. You have to stay out there as punishment for what you did in here. There you are. That's strict enough for you. Better. Right, well, now that I've lit the blue touch paper, I think I'll retire. Claim on it. Yeah, I'm sure. Just let everything else is bung, bent, and broken, buggered. You think I'm your insurance too, don't you? We do rely on you with them, yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes it's like I can't even do my own thing. I've just got to stop him from doing his. Well, that's not true. It's just that, well, you know what he's like. What am I, a pushover? Hey, listen, don't you ever be a pushover. I hate you! Just let me in! Better go and sort that out. See? You give us advice, too. <laughs>
I mean, he's had his punishment. Why don't you just bite the bullet? Tough. I'm gonna go next door and tell them what you've done to me, you fuckers! Hey, you can't let him get away with that. Punishing him just makes him worse. Yeah, well, that's why he needs a good idea. Frighten the life out of him so he'll do it again. Hitting Disney World. Have you tried it? No, we don't bastards. care to. You fucking mean bastards! I hate you! But what are you going to do? You never thought I'd be very good at this anyway, did you? Career girl, weren't you? Just let me Staying in. at home doesn't make you a good mother. Don't argue with your mum. This is my house. I can answer back if I want. All I know is you have to set an example. Oh, well, go on then. It's set one. Here. Show me how it's done properly. Well? I'm cold, let me in! What if he really is cold? Well, then we'd have to let him in. Then we'd be giving in. Yeah. Might be faking it. Let me in! Igor, put that on. Thunder fair. Fuckers! Hang on, blurted Harry. What about my punishment? Fudge blinked. Punishment? I broke law, Harry said. The decree for the restriction of underage wizardry. Oh, my dear boy, we're not going to punish you for a little thing like that, cried Fudge, waving his crumpet impatiently. It was an accident. We don't send people to Azkaban just for blowing up their ants. But... What's been happening? What's just happened? Ach, I don't know what to do with you. Sorry, I'm here now. What do you mean? It wasn't boring, it's just like my brain gets split up. What, you, you mean like you can't concentrate? I try to, but what people say just like goes away. Gotta try harder, gotta keep my hands to myself as well. If you don't know what to do with me, you can send me to a first home. They'd look after me because they get money for that. Shut up. Oh, dear children. What, let's fuck cuddle. Gay. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Come here. Can't see you since I've held your hand, isn't it? You just grabbed my wrist. Feels a bit funny. Do you know, you were never scared of anything. Ghosts, the dark, witches, branches banging against the window. And that's where I was supposed to come in handy, you see. So, see if you ever get a thing about spiders, you let me know. And I'll come and stamp them for you. Do you think Ray Book's better than Mac? He just did it again. What? He went away. How do we know his hearing's normal? We should have picked up on this ages ago, shouldn't we? Not necessarily. The nerve damage is only in one ear, like I said. Thankfully, it's mild. There's been no real problems with his speech development. And also, having been born with it, Danny's found his own way of getting round it. I took so much care during my pregnancy. I had vaccines, I didn't drink, I had all my scans. You mustn't feel it's your fault. Any number of things could have caused the damage. From your having had flu during the pregnancy to something else congenital, to the simple we just don't know. So, this could explain all the other problems he has? From the way he can't concentrate to the way he behaves? Well... 
But, but there's a pattern there, isn't there? An established link. He can't be unaffected, can he? It's possible. And if he had a hearing aid, then everything would improve, wouldn't it? Well, there's no guarantee. But isn't that what we should do? If we can be certain of the difference it would make. But it will. You know, I think we might have cracked it, Dan. I look stupid with the hearing aid. No, because they're tiny. You'd hardly even notice them. Do you know all those times that I've been impatient with you? Loads. Well, I didn't understand. I didn't get it. And I'm really sorry, darling, if you think that I've done wrong by you. Why are you talking in a loud voice? So you think mild hearing loss is the reason he runs out into the middle of the street? If he can't hear the car Loses coming... Loses or forgets everything, can't stay at his desk, can't stop talking... But if he can't hear properly, then he can't keep up, and if he can't keep up, then he's going to act up. And you're just going to have to accept what they've told us. I can't. It's not enough. It doesn't explain enough. You, you want it to be something worse, do you? I just don't think we've got the whole story. I know we haven't. You don't think that we've taken enough punishment as it is? What about this Friday? <laughs> I can get in 15. We all could. <laughs> They're asking us out. Who's asking who exactly? Well, that depends who's offering. Mm -hmm. I'm offering. <laughs> <laughs> Does he do that every month? It's not a big deal. We're quite open about things like that in my family. No choice, eh? Anyway, you might have to get a hearing aid soon. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're supposed to be in bed. Can I feed him? You must be joking. Good night. He's asleep, and Lucy's got our mobile number anyway. She's a star, isn't she? That's nice. Thank you. You've shown some appreciation. Sorry to hear about your good news. Um, yeah, Emma's quite a lot in pregnancies. One in four, apparently. Look, I don't want this to sound wrong, but uh, when did they say you could start trying again? We didn't ask. You didn't? Hey, it's not something I want to think about right now. Hey. Theresa was telling me about Danny's hearing. You've got mixed feelings, have you? No, it's a relief. Uh, you're really going to see the difference in him once this, this hearing aids in. Ah, uh, it's not mine. Hello? I should have let him feed it. Then he wouldn't have done that. We should never have gone out. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Not fair. It's all right, Lucy. I was only giving them a ride. You killed it. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. It died. You shoved the tank down the stairs with a poor bloody thing in it. Yeah. Why? I don't know. You're not even supposed to be awake. You were supposed to be asleep. You were supposed to be fast asleep. I'm going to bed now. No, you are not. Your sister is in a terrible state up the stairs. Well, she's having a period. Now shut up. Have you any idea the time and the trouble that she took looking after that? I wonder where she'll bury it. Have you ever been to a funeral, Dad? Supposed to be fast asleep. It's the only break we get. You won't let me go to sleep. Why can't I go to sleep? Because I'm not finished with you yet. I'm tired. I need to sleep. I want to go to bed. Why did you do it? I, I just did. Why did you do it? Nobody told me I couldn't. Why did you do it? I was bored. A fucking freak! <laughs> you loser! <laughs> You're no 
fucking good to us Daddy. at all. We Please, hate Daddy. you. We fucking hate Daddy. you. I don't. Please. I want to kill you. Please. I don't want you Please. here Please. anymore. Please. I don't Please. want Stop you. It. Get off him. Man. Get off. Yeah, I can't stand this anymore. What have you done? I can't um, do it. God says to your room I now. Can't keep doing it. Have you seen this? Look at his face. What's the school going to say? He can hardly move! Look, we'll keep him off school for a couple of days and we'll look after him, OK? How's that, Danny? We've got up late and chill out or something, eh? Just you and me. I'll come up with you. Get away! I'm sorry! No, no, it's gonna make you feel better. Shh, shh, shh. It's a good boy, it's all right. Lock the door. He's not gonna hurt you anymore, okay? Is he gonna say them horrible things to me again? Look, I've just gotta go and get something. Don't be long. All right. Disappearing overnight won't solve anything. You'll still have to come back tomorrow and deal with him. I don't want to deal with him anymore. I want you to leave. What do you mean, leave? Leave me? No. Then what are you talking about? What are you leaving? Home. Him. You're married to me. We're married to him. He's not going to get any better, is he? I mean, who was I kidding? Your names. You solve his problems. You leave now, you'll be making his problems worse. Well, you're laying that responsibility on me, but you don't get it, do you? I don't want to. I don't want to be his dad anymore. I can't do it. I'm no good at it. Selfish fucking coward! I'll call you and I'll let you know what I am. Women and children last. I haven't done anything wrong. I've never done anything wrong. Dad? I'm sorry, Dad, please. It's all my fault, isn't it? I'll buy Lucy another guinea pig. I'll keep my hands to myself. I'll sit still. I'll go to bed when I'm told. Daddy's late. He should find if he's going to be late. Why did Mum have tea with us? She usually waits till Dad gets back, then opens up a bottle of wine. She'll be drinking on her own, just like she did last night. It was only a row. He's never left before. Can't they make up? You'll still be here. It's his fault. He's the one who hit me. He's violent. He's not fit to be a parent. I'm glad he's not coming back. Who said he's not coming back? You just did. All I said was you'd still be here. I reckon he's got another girlfriend, someone who's younger than Mum, and he's having an affair with her. He shacked up with her and now he's living with her. That's what happens, you know. Yeah, in other families, not this one. Why not? Cos we're not like other families, are we? You see to that. Fuck off, Rad! Just fuck off, you bitch! Why does it always me? have to be me? I don't want it to be me! Shut up! Just shut up, Lucy! Oh. Get off me! Oi, 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 what are you fighting for? Tell her to keep her mouth shut! Well, I wanted the remote control, that's why I got sick of him flicking it all the time. Nothing to do with flicking! Damn! 
get back, OK? It was my fault. What was your fault? No, I want my dad back. Hello. Hiya, oh, Trace. I think you got the wrong number. How are the kids? Staring. See, your son's just like my grandson. Just like him. Why? Look at these ones. Look at these ones, Mum. They're well cool. Oh, well, he's got ADHD too. Give me these ones, Mum. Is it that obvious? Well, we've all had to become experts on it, haven't we? Time to tell you. Well, I've got loads of There's this paediatrician who specialises in ADHD. It means I have to take Danny privately, but we'll get a really comprehensive assessment and hopefully diagnosis. Great. Alex was so convinced it was his hearing. How have you got round him? I haven't spoken to him about it. What do you mean? He left five days ago. What? Why didn't you tell me? Been busy. Busy? Put him first. Oh. Alex couldn't. I don't want your stickers anyway. I don't fucking want your stickers. Oh, Danny. Danny, look, I'll buy some stickers myself and swap them after school with you, all right? That's stupid. What if you tell me about Alex before now? It can't have been easy keeping it to yourself, pretending everything's normal. Uh, I haven't been pretending. I didn't have a miscarriage. I had an abortion. Well, I guessed as much. Why? How are you going to cope with them on your own, Teresa? How are you going to cope? Hey, come on! Buy our stuff! We need the money! Buy our stuff! We need the money! 
funny. <laughs> come over here, fuck you, yeah. come over here. I'm going around to Bella's. I could do with you here. Something wrong with my hearing. Dad. Hiya. Hey, I've brought you something for your birthday tomorrow. Where will you be tomorrow? I, I, I don't know. Can't you be here? Can't you be here all the time? Nanny, not on shoes. Hey, that's your mum. What's happening? Mum wants to take him to see another doctor. It's going to cost hundreds. Or something for her birthday tomorrow. Not your job anymore, is it? Why wouldn't you speak to me on the phone the other night? Not my job anymore. This isn't irretrievable. What is it then? No, don't answer that. I'll decide what it is. Lucy says you're taking him to see somebody else. A paediatrician who specialises in ADHD. But the GP said. Well, now I'm going privately. We still use some of this stuff. Good clear out. Anyway. I need the money. Lucy. What are you doing? We can get nearly a hundred for that. Let go. Fuck off, Jack. Just give me it now, Lucy. Give me it now. What kind of money does that mean? Where have you been staying? Studio. Must be uncomfortable. Yeah. What are you going to do then? You can't stay there forever. No little love nest for you then? No, I'm not seeing anybody else, if that's what you're thinking. I'd have preferred it if you were. Understood it better, anyway. Hi. Hi. He just come back to stop me from selling the lawnmower. <laughs> Are you shagging someone else? <laughs> no, I'm being really unfaithful. Well, maybe you should give it a go. At least you stay married, mate. I better speak with Dan. Yeah. Everything must go by Stuck's last. No nicking or nothing. Shoplifters will be prosecuted. You're right, Dan. Have you come to buy something? Dan. Get your bullet out. No time wasters. I was scared that if I stayed, I might lose my temper again. No exchange, no refund. You hate me, Dan? Well, you started it. Look, I'd better go. I'll see you later. Window shoppers, no fucking window shoppers. Sun comes out, sun goes in. Sun comes out, sun goes in. On, off, in, out, shake it, all of that. Runs on electricity. Does it ever walk on electricity? Does it ever get tired? We can't be sure how it happens, but we think that dopamine's involved and there are medicines that seem to help. Basically, messages are supposed to pass from one brain cell to the next through a chemical, a neurotransmitter. In Danny's case, the chemical that enables us to focus, the dopamine, is produced in lesser volumes by the first cell or picked up less efficiently by the second. Either way, we think there's a reduction in the dopamine level. I know how daunting this must sound. It's not that, it's just, uh, I never thought I'd be glad to hear that my son had brain damage. Brain dysfunction. Danny has a weakness in the frontal lobe function which controls inhibition. That's my boy. Dan, come here. I'm doing this, OK? He's not doing that because the way we brought him up. He's, n he's not doing that because he's a monster. He's doing that because... Because his condition is biological, medical. An imbalance in the brain which we can correct with medication. The Ritalin. It works. I can't imagine it. Look how sparkling their eyes are. <laughs> Tommy's cheeky grin. We've got a frame for it already. 
Yeah, it was quite a good photograph to work from. I think I used to have a photograph of my own kids here, yeah. That's Lucy. She's 13. That's Danny. He's nine. I was taking ads a couple of years ago in the Lake District. Took a boat out in Windermere. And I Danny Rowe. Yeah, so far, I spent hours and years. The dosage may need adjusting, because all children are different. So we'll have to fine-tune it over the next few weeks. How long will he have to be on them? As long as they're helping him. Maybe into adulthood. Jesus. Price of a normal life. Ritalin's not a cure, Teresa. It has to work with the way you manage him. Providing the right kind of environment at home, stability, support. I knew there was a catch. Some women tell me their husbands are away working on an oil rig. Why isn't yours on the scene? I thought he had more guts. Like you? I thought we were the same. That's what's unbearable. Fancy McDonald's. But it's not Friday. We'll have a happy meal, both of us. Horsey, get it up. Go, go, go. Go, Big Master. I don't want it. You have to, Danny. Why do I have to? Because the doctor said it'll make you feel better. How better? Better, better, can much better control. What else? More concentration. What else? Your thinking will be clearer. Nothing can ever be your fault again. So, there ain't that many things wrong with me. Please, Danny, come on. You, you liked Dr Richards, didn't you? So it don't mean I have to take his fucking tablets. How many friends have you got, Danny? What? Um, how many? None. And where's your dad gone? I don't know. Exactly. What are you saying to him? Do you want your life to carry on as it has been? Do you? No. Doing stuff and then being sorry and then doing it all over again. You hate it, don't you? <sighs> then take this, sweetheart. Please. How long do I have to take it for? Let's wait and see. Something wrong with him. I didn't say that, did I? What's, what's he doing? His homework. It's not a zoo. Hey, yeah. Come to see a star attraction. What's been happening? He's sitting down. Stop talking. I'm trying to get on with this. I was right. The paediatrician diagnosed ADHD. Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. They put him on medication. What kind of medication? Methylphenidate. Ritalin. Raises his dopamine levels and improves his impulse control, which is poor because of a weakness in the frontal lobe section of his brain. Yeah, I didn't understand what that was at that point. Well, look at him. How long has he been taking these things? Since about an hour ago. What, an hour? Jesus Christ. It's the invasion of the body snatchers. <laughs> Is this going to change anything? <sighs> what are you doing? Fractions. I'm going out. Don't be late. Bye, Dad. Bye. 
So you have to give a fraction for the shaded parts of those shapes. Yeah, but it's hard. Especially that one. A hexagon. I'm really good at halves of a circle. Well, it's OK. At least you're sitting down and having a go. Yeah, I'll show you. Don't get too comfortable. Hey, Mum. Want some coffee? Yeah, I'll, I'll go in the other room. Cos you put me off. And uh, can I see his medication? Thousands of children are on Ritalin. I don't care about other children. He's in there doing his homework, Alex. Yeah. That's amazing. I have to have something going right in my life. We've been civil to each other. Yeah. It's just medication, like insulin, like Ventolin. You're being disingenuous. Ritalin's a control drug which the medical establishment can't make up its mind about, yet I'm expected to administer it. How's he been today? I don't know. Exactly. I've got playground duty. If you don't know, that means the tablets he took for breakfast are working. you took this morning, you'll be wearing off soon. Yeah. Take this with it. That's it, sweetheart. Just like Popeye and his spinach, eh? I like being normal, Mum. Yeah, I know you do. See you later. Mm. It really is only two minutes, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I mean, the only thing I really want to know is, is what you've been up to with my wife. You know what I mean? Danny's unrecognisable. I got quite a shock. That's what bothers me. Is it working? Well, that's not the point. Cocaine works. I, I, I just want to get my head round it. I want to be in on it. I can give you some literature, but really, you should be talking this over with Teresa. Yes? Your next appointment's here. Okay. He's your wee boy, too. Yeah. He really listens now. He thinks before he acts. He concentrates. He's just so much more available. Okay. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Gill. Bye. Okay, Bye. Thanks. Bye. Have you got stricter with him lately? I haven't got to. So, the only crisis you'll be dealing with from now on will be someone's prolapsed disc. <laughs> <laughs> Complimentary clinic. Yes, can you hang on a minute? It's for you. Danny's school. Hello? Come on. I'm gonna get you home, OK? What's wrong? I came here at lunchtime and gave him too strong a dose. It needs reducing. Well, did you know there'd be side effects, weren't you, Tom? What? I thought it was worth it. What are you doing here? Oh, they rang me too. In the early days, the drugs need fine tuning. Fine tuning? He looks like he needs his bloody stomach pumped. I'm going to take him to the hospital. He doesn't need to go to hospital. Oh, you still know best, do you? Eh? Look at him! I was warned by the paediatrician this might happen. It's just teething problems. I can't believe I let you do this. I never asked your permission. You never even asked my opinion. You weren't there! Wash your hands of him after you beat the shit out of him! This is fucking abuse! This is not antibiotics you've got down him. This drug changes behaviour. I mean, he's out of it. I want it stopped. You've seen how he can be! Oh, this is a fuck all to do with Danny. This is about you trying to 
prove that you can cope on your own and change things. Or you fucked up, Teresa. Which is the main thing, right, as far as you're concerned. Make me the same as you, wouldn't it? Well, that'll never happen. Never. Look, wait a minute. I'm not shouting at you to make myself feel better. To see him like this, it scares me. Panics me. Pretty squeamish altogether. <sighs> He's going to be OK. Really. Are you sure? Won't be long before he's his new self. I do still love you. You probably do. I just hadn't realised it was all so conditional. Look, can I come back home with you for, for a while? Just, just till he comes round a wee bit? No! I just want to make sure you're OK, son. He will be. Right, well, I'll, I'll go your way. Lovely, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, Shanna. Come on, on here. Yeah. I've learnt how to give exactly the right dosage. Too much and he's a space cadet. Not enough, and you'll soon know about it. Why are you all looking at me? No, nah, it's the car we're looking at. Hey. I'm really getting into this. <laughs> are you? Mum, can I go and get an Ashley from the shop? Yeah. Yeah. Anybody want anything? It's the first time I've really liked him. Poor little sod. What do you mean? Well, nine years old and under sedation. He's not under sedation. But these drugs are stabilising him, aren't they? You make him sound like he's mental. But his brain wouldn't be normal if it weren't for the drugs. You said so. You haven't understood anything, have you? Look, don't take it out on us. We want to help out more. Now we know what his situation is. Yeah, we'll take him out. We'll have him round, so long as he's on his drugs. Thanks. It's nice you want to help now. I could do with it. Must come from Alex's side. Where is he today, anyway? He's got a commission to finish. Hey, you missed all the food? I'm fat anyway. <laughs> You're not fat. You've just got too much flesh on show, that's what. You got a lot of slap on as well for a picnic. Yeah, she thinks she's a slapper. Yeah, that's all. You bitch! Christ's sake, Lucy, you know better than to react like that. Oh, yeah, especially now he's disabled. That is enough! Oh, what? Wait till your father gets home. Alex Les, I'm general illustrator, uh, cartoons and caricatures, A4 pencil drawings of your loved ones. Very reasonable. Do uh, watercolours of your of your mother. Very reasonable. It's, it's, it's nothing much. It's just to be about high street business. You know, keep the wolf from the door. That's the main thing, eh? Come on. Keep the wolf from the door, roof over our heads. I mean, that's the main thing, OK? It's very reasonable, you know? I mean, it's only 70 quid. Prices start 70 quid. I mean, it's cheap compared to this lot. You know, I used to think, you know, but is it art, you know? <laughs> yeah, oh, fuck it. Who cares? As long as, as, long as I've got, uh, you know, Keep my family supported, then that, that's, the, that's the main thing, you know. That's that's going to be my achievement. Yeah. Thank you. Excuse me, man. Sorry. Sorry, sir. I've talked to you. Yeah. 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 No, got family support.
<laughs> Get this down, y'all. No, thanks. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Steady. Not for long. Go on, girl, try this one. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Just messing about. Do you want to mess about down a canal? Alright. We've got the dosage sorted out now. I didn't sell a tape anything to his Ribena today. You wait and see. You can't scare me into giving them. Come lunchtime, I'll be the one who's scared. I'll be expecting your phone call. Mrs. Letts? I've made enough phone calls. It's usually Danny I have to come running for. You are not going to make me feel sorry for you. Who is he? Boy we always wanted. Nearly. What do you want? I want to go over here. Don't blame you. I want to come home. <laughs> Family man. Not you. Well, I'm nothing else either. I didn't go on some wild spree. I didn't go anywhere. You'll soon get the hang of it, all that freedom. I don't want to. Because I'm a fraud when I'm not with you and the kids. Now, I might not be very good at it, but it's ingrained in me. You've just seen how much easier Danny no, is that's now. that's not what this is about. No, you like it to be easy. Oh, yeah, cos this is a fucking doddle. You haven't been working either, have you? I don't have any reason to. I'm not with you. I'm not there. You weren't there properly anyway. And I don't want you back just because you want to carry on as before. I need a partner, you know? Well, anybody in particular? You? Why? If you have me back, will it be because the paediatrician prescribed a stable home life along with the Ritalin? Think I'd just be following doctor's orders? I'm asking you if you love me. Yes! I do! But that is... Not gonna be enough to want you there! Because when it's hard... When it's shit... You just got to accept that that goes with the territory. This... paediatrician... Does he give lessons? You know, I mean, I know we're not supposed to be the kind of parents that need help, but what works? Because there's a dad here that doesn't have a fucking clue. See what you can do for me, see what I can do for Danny. But mostly... fucking... 
Mostly because I don't want to let you down anymore. So I've come back to have another go at being my dad then? Never had a problem being mine. Yeah, I have. Yeah, but I'm a freak. Put your Ritalin in your cereal. Where'd you get that big plaster on your neck for? Best way to advertise a love bite. I'm late. What for? For school. No, you're not. Dad, can I have eight pounds fifty? What do you want eight pounds fifty for? It's private, all right, Dad. No, it's not all right. I'm asking Dad if he can turn round this way. You're wanted. What? Just cos he's treating you like shit, don't treat me like it. Most important meal of the day, breakfast. Right, you lot, find a partner. Sorry, Danny, I'll be a partner, yeah? Go, let's go. Excuse me. It's just a pregnancy testing kit. I can't smoke it or inject it. I just want to wee on it. <laughs> well, the good news is, is that our disability living allowance has come through. <laughs> we spent the back payment on a weekend break in Dorset, four star hotel. Oh. And what's the bad news? Oh. Uh, Stephen tried to spew his Ritalin out all over the breakfast lounge. <laughs> <laughs> I think the hotel have got a no-children policy now. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Teresa. Hello. Hello. Do take a seat. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hello. Uh, our son's called Danny. He's nine. And he's got ADHD. When he was two, he was eating watch batteries, telling him there were poisonous berries in the garden, and he'd be cramming his mouth with them. We never get invited to anything. I'd say never ask them why they've done something. They just don't know. Sometimes I wish she was in a wheelchair, or blind even, so people would be able to know what was wrong with her and feel sorry for her. Tea, bath and bed. Fucking nightmare. I stopped coming home between five and seven. When he was little, he'd put ham on his face, try and shove things up the dog's bum. <laughs> <laughs> but now he's eight and he's still doing it. I held him down on his bed to stop him moving. Last night, I lay on top of him for three hours. I have to say, this is the best news I've heard in ages. <laughs> 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 So resilient, weren't they? It's because they think they're getting somewhere. All that experience, all that knowledge. We can use it. Put up the token charts, show them how to use the colour codes. Signs everywhere, map of his bedroom. Might even find me again. Eh? Wake up tomorrow morning and you'll know exactly where everything is. Then you look at the chart Daddy's put up and you'll know exactly what it is you should be doing. Yeah, pulling it off the wall. No, that's what you would have done two weeks ago. How do you know I won't do it now? Because you know it's there to help you. That gives you a routine, Dan, so that you know what's what. Yeah, but what if you go off again? 
If you look at the chart now, it tells you it's time to brush your teeth and put your pyjamas on. I want to go and watch telly. Right, Dan, look at me. Look right at me. This is the rule. If you haven't gone and done it by the time I count to three, I'm just going to take the plug off the TV tonight. I'll get another plug. One. You won't be able to watch anything either. Two. Big deal. Where's the screwdriver? It's the uh, second door down the kitchen. Mum? Mum, look, I'm going to the bathroom. Nice one, son. What? For brushing my teeth? No, you know what for. And you did it. Well, we're working on a reward system now. And then. Uh, you stemmed one. You know, see, before, you don't want two of them, or a different one altogether. A reward wouldn't have meant anything to you. What's your reward? Giving you yours. I prefer South Park now. say when you gave him his reward? Um, not a lot. What do you mean? It's just his face. Can you believe his luck? God, I hope he can keep it up. Yeah, of course he will. Making an effort. You had a bad day. Same as usual. Anyway, you look pleased to see me. I am. I am so grateful. Ah, come on, listen, Marty. Stranger fucking danger! again. He said the thought terrified him. I can't believe he went along with it. I went along with it because I know there's not enough love to go around. What are you talking about? Chris is with Josh now while I'm here. I know he won't kiss him goodnight. I'd barely be able to say it. So anyway, you've got yourself sorted. Well, Eggshells at first, but we don't seem to have broken any. 
Alex is really making an effort and Dan is letting him. Is he? Courtesy of Ritalin. Alex watched him play football after school today. Apparently was really in the thick of it. I'm really pleased his dad was seeing it too. Yes, they were in a bad condition too. Okay, Johnny, come on, it's time to go to bed, son. Why should well, I? Um, because it's nine o'clock. So Lucy ain't even home yet. Well, his dad will be having her home here in a couple of minutes, and plus if I cheese will you. So I'm staying here? Look, the rule is that you go to your bed at nine. Now, if you're not upstairs in your room by the time that I count to three... Bollocks. One. Bollocks. Two. Bollocks. What are you doing? Make myself a cup of coffee. What about me going to bed then? Look, you started off the day with ten tokens. You got up on time, so you got two more for that. You wouldn't eat the dinner that I made for you. And now you're saying that you won't go to bed. So you lose one each for that, plus another one for swearing. Now you started off the day with ten tokens. Do you really want to end the day with nine? Why not? I'm a loser. Not if you don't want to be. It's not up to me, it's up to everyone else. Why don't you just go to your bed and put your pyjamas on? You only came back because I'm on drugs now. It's not like it was before. Because you and me are talking. And that's progress, believe it or not. We're making progress. All this new stuff you're trying, it's not going to last. Look, I'm really disappointed with the way that you're talking to me. Fuck off! Do I lose another token? Yeah, walk away. That's all you know how to do. You don't love me. You just cope with me so you can keep him with Mum. It's nothing to do with me, is it? Fuck off, 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 fuck off. Do I lose all my tokens now, Dad? Anymore. I'm a loser. Don't have to worry about me anymore. Danny. Danny. Is it the Ritalin, Mum? No. Well, what was it then? I did the one, two, three. Spoke in a calm, matter of fact voice. I avoided escalation. Doctor could be his tokens, but. But what? He's not having any of it. 
I got him down, Trez. As soon as I saw him. Mr. and Mrs. Letts, his injuries are local to the front of the neck, but his airway might swell. I think that we'd better keep him in overnight. Keep an eye on him. Do you have any social services involvement at all? A social worker. What are you saying? Is that the real reason you're keeping him in? Because you think... I want to see him. I want to see my son now. Of course. This is my baby, okay? I couldn't stand the idea of anyone hurting you, Dan. I couldn't bear it. I'd kill him. But you doing this to yourself? your own neck. Couldn't even do it properly. <laughs> Did you give me the kiss of life? Didn't have to, darling. I bet you was glad about that. Stop it. Yeah. Please. I thought all this had stopped. So you get the head psych to come and assess Danny? Yeah, of course. Uh, Danny saw her before and nothing happened. Well, um, thanks for your cooperation. Now, we'll be in touch with your GP and everyone else who is concerned with Danny. Let me just hand your passports over in the meantime. So thanks for coming. I'm vouching for us. Well, now you've got to vouch for Danny, night and day. But you made the best possible start already by getting back together. Cheers. Take care. I used to think being a responsible parent meant getting them to grade three piano. No, it's one false move and... Yeah, but now we're not going to make any, are we? God, all that behavioural management technique and I never told them how much I loved them. Come on, son. We've got home. I didn't have time to think, I just grabbed a knife and cut him down. So what happened next? Checked his breathing, put him in a recovery position. You saved his life. I suppose. I was lucky you found the knife. I suppose. this? Proper professional standard. Good make too. You mean the ones that are too heavy to kick? Well, at least it's your own. We can take over to the park if you want. Well, you can put a, a roll neck sweater on or a balaclava. 
sunglasses, change your name, get a new identity. But you'll crap. Well, you're not exactly Michael Owen, are you? Look, no, look, where are you going, goals? You're saying I'm not good enough to be out in the field? I'll go and call then. Right, I'll take the parties. What if I miss? Well, don't take penalties then. You're too kind to me. Well, at least it goes straight when I do it. Can we have a game? Yeah, us two versus you two. No way, I ain't having them in my team. But I thought you knew each other. Yeah, that's the problem. Now, come on, us two versus you two rush goalies. Right then, so it's a top of the table tussle, a premiership points punch up. It's a crunch conflict for the championship. Hey, come on, Jack, on me, Ed, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, Jack, quickly, find the screen, please. I'm recommending that all of these points be included in Danny's statement. He needs a lot of help, doesn't he? Can you give it to him? He'll be statemented. Well, that's good, isn't it? Only if we can meet what's in the statement. And I'm not sure we'll be able to. Well, what happened to him then? I think you should consider a special school. There is Longfields. Well, is Longfields suitable? I was thinking of a residential placement. Have a job getting that written into part four. <laughs> I want to know about my son. Old fat in possession. Old fat trying to get through two little kids. Come on, give me a hand then. Old fat look for support. Old fat look for an oxygen tent. Danny, give me a hand. Give me a hand. Come here. Just pass Come it, me, Danny. Will you? Come on, up the wing. On you go. And here's go. young, good Danny Letts in possession of the ball. Come on, Dan. Dan. With a $30 million fee. Danny. Come on, Jack, go on, go on. Support me, then, support me. Come in. Ah. Oh. Come on, shoot. Fucking fat bastard! Send to the FA! Find! All the cars are laughing! Shoot. All the cars are laughing! What are you man? Oh. Not anymore. Penalty. Danny! He died! Danny! You can't commit fouls like that! Stop them scoring, didn't I? Yeah, unfairly! Maybe I'm fair to him, but it's not unfair to me. That's my ball. I want my oh, ball. Come here. Come my on. premiership ball. It's mine. I want it. Right, that's half time. Right, it's time for a top up, pal. Don't you think? No, you should take your penalty. No, sir. I think we'll. I think we we'll go now. No, we have to. It's in the rules. If you abandon the game, then you forfeit the match, and the points go to us. I mean, that's that's FA rules. That is. So you're both weird. You're not singing. You're not singing. You're not singing anymore. You're not singing anymore. Champions, champions, champions. Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? You fat bastard! You fat bastard! You ate all the pies! <laughs> Yeah, that's your lot. Back to work. You're late. I stayed on a bit. Why? What you been doing? <laughs> I'm playing football in the park. The trainers are bloody coloured. How'd it go? Eh, uh, you fat bastards, you fat bastards, you ate all the pies. What? <laughs> well, that's how it went. We took on another team, a couple of kids. Moral victory, really. We demoralised them, me and Dan. So, uh... Morale is good, is it? Mm. Eh, uh, so what the educational psychologist have to say? She's really on the ball. Yeah? And Mrs Marks? She thinks Danny could cope better at a different school. Special school. 
Right, so she just wanted to wash her hands of them. Well, I hope you put her right. Well, I don't know enough about them to argue with her. Perhaps I should find out. Well, Fawny's getting better. Still different. Yeah, well, going to another school like that is only going to make him more different. You know, as he moves up the classes, goes to secondary school, what do you think is going to happen to him? He'll start wetting his hair down and wanking relentlessly. Oh, don't be so fucking complacent! It was a joke. Mum, why has Lucy got this? Shh. Alex. Why haven't you opened it? What does it matter if it's open or not? She's bought the fucking thing. Woo! Oi! Sexy! I bought it at the same chemist you're always getting his prescriptions in. Well, who is he? Who's the boy? He spends ages on me, hours. Anything I want him to do, I just have to ask. How? Dare you! Alex! <laughs> you, out of the room! Why is she Out! Now! Why is she talking like this? Why don't you both go? She out? sounds like a porn queen! How much time do you think he's going to spend on you once you think she might be pregnant? <laughs> you, out! What sort of things do you ask him to do? It's private. Well, name some of them. Describe them. Go on. I've got love bites on my tits. Is that all? Can't be all, can it? Not if I bought that. But you haven't opened it. When did you buy it? A couple of days ago. Not in much of a hurry to find out. I just thought you'd be frantic. You haven't had sex, have you? The condom split. Who rolled it on, you or him? I don't have to tell you everything. I know everything anyway. I know you. Do you? And? Am I boring you? Do I bore you? No. That's your mum on the phone. She sounds really upset. Doctor said he could make a complete recovery. Of course. Speech therapy. Occupational therapy. You'll be all right, Mum. Yeah. Did you know he had high blood pressure? No. But it's made worse by stress. I shouldn't have told him about Danny. No. Jesus, it's one thing after another. Dad. My Dan. You should have kept a closer eye on him. You know, what he gets up to. Let's get you a cup of coffee. It wasn't another one of his impulsive moments, Mum. He thought about it. He meant to do it. Nine-year-olds don't think about things like that. They can't. Ask him, Mum, next time you see him. I'm scared of him. Always have been. Because I never understood him. Now he's gone beyond me. If what you say about him's true, you know it's true. You just don't want it to be. No. What happens to him now? I'm going to look at a new school for him. A new start and all that. Where is it? It's a special school. Somewhere he may have to go away to. What does Alex think? He won't entertain anything like that. But you're going ahead anyway. Yeah. I must have thicker skin than him. You need a coffee more than I do. I'm only going to have a little one. I know. This is very generous of me.
want you to tell your mum about Lucy, did you? I didn't want to cause another stroke. I think Lucy's the sanest one in the family. And Lucy couldn't go all the way with a boy if she tried, could she? Those years of living with Danny, she knows when to stop. Perhaps she should be able to live with Danny a bit less. What do you mean? Well, you know, just be Lucy rather than Danny's sister. They were both fine today. Why shouldn't they be? Tell me I'm part of the furniture. You're part of the furniture. What? It's not bad. Shit. I like the way you've combined the colours. Do you? Listen, Danny. You don't think it may be time that you thought about maybe going back to school? No, never. I mean, you must be getting a wee bit fed up. Shall I draw you? Don't make me look ugly. seem very happy. But if you wrap them up in cotton wool, they're bound to be. The world's already given them quite a battery. We want to send them out in better shape than they came in. I want to see him happy. I suppose all mums say that, don't they? That happiness is so much harder for him to come by. Parents have a real battle to get their kids here, with their education authorities and with themselves. Sending my Danny away. I know. Not what we're supposed to do, is it? But I've read Danny's papers, Mrs. Letts. He's not like other children. What does it feel like? But he's like the children here. What have you got in there? Chris, do you want to find the mushroom out of there? Hey, gently now. Just pick out the mushroom. There you go. OK. How much longer? I was waiting for that. Till I'm finished. Hurry up. You know, you couldn't have done this before. It's that for me. It's that for anything. Only way I could have got you to do this was with a lasso and a net. I'm boring now. I missed the medication. <laughs> You're not, you're fine. See, that's what I mean. You were a chemical reaction before. Like natural bloody glycerine. And now, you're like the sun coming out. Now and again. Yeah, now and again. Right, nobody's perfect. Did you love me before? Yeah, of course I did. You've moved your head. So it's still the same head. Can I scratch my nose? Yeah. Can I scratch my ass? As long as you don't mind me drawing you with your hand up your bum. Well, you could get a lot of money for it. You could call it the... Midget with fidgets. The titch with the itch. Hit with the skids. <laughs> hey, well, concentrate. <laughs> Right, come on, come here and look what I've done then. You've made me look funny. You don't like it. Could you make the cup a little bit bigger? Hi, no problem. Dan. What? Come with me. Where? You'll see. 
Venga, se fue, gracias. Looks okay. You look beautiful. Can't we just go to the reception for a bit? Oh, they thought that we wouldn't be able to show our faces at all, but we can, can't we? And we will, excuse me. The family from hell will be wearing carnations and look a million dollars. <laughs> You're big on family ties today. Very funny. Happy Christmas. War is over. Right, let's go. Hey, what did I tell you about those trainers? It was easy. No worries. See? Hey, what's this? We'll talk about it later. Special school? We talked about it. Yeah, and you know what I thought when we talked about it, but you've just sneaked off on your own to see one anyway. Don't argue now. This isn't local. There isn't a local one that's suitable. This is Surrey. After the wedding, OK? Somebody humiliated you. So, at least I didn't do it to the bride. Stupid dress, anyway. <laughs> well spoiled, darling. Left some of this. Left some hair. I need a drink. Here. You haven't spoken to Danny all day. I don't know what to say to him. Well, everyone's asking how Dad is. That's all you have to ask your grandson. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. It took me two hours to get him ready this morning. He's like a child. Tries to swear at me, especially when I bang his head getting him into the car. He wet himself on purpose, just to get his own back on me. Mm, I'll have some of this. I could do that for you if you like, pal. Some scotch eggs, some of that, some of this. Just have some more. Have a roll. Ooh. Here, Grandad. Mm. Get this down, yeah? Mm -hmm. I don't think the Ritalin is working. You really like this, don't you? Come on, let's go for a spin. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. I was only having a laugh. You ask him if he wanted to have a laugh. It's OK, Bill. Parker. Granddad's speech is improving. I only did it because it was a wedding. It's nothing to do with ADHD. You didn't take your Ritalin, did you? I fucking ate Ritalin! Did you spit it out? I want to see if I could be normal without it for once. Normal isn't it up to you? Look at the way all the slot are all looking at you. Bill's in a wheelchair because there's something wrong with his brain. And Danny's brain means that he can't help himself, but you don't feel sorry for him, do you? 
He smoked that chimney all his life and liked his whiskey. So that's why he had a stroke. Well, Danny didn't do anything. It's not his fault. Hang on. There you are, darling. Thanks, Dad. Ah, oh, thanks, Helen. Yes. With this, and I'm not a baby. No, I know you're bloody heavy. No, don't carry me to the front door. How did you even think I was sending him away? I couldn't at first. But then I started thinking about what he's up against. Attempted suicide at nine. A reputation that won't leave him. And then what at 11? A 2,000 pupil comprehensive school. Danny is not a mainstream child, Alex. He could cope in the Ritalin. Ritalin won't solve his learning difficulties. And there's page after page of it. What are you saying? We're not enough, Alex. How can we not be enough? We're his bloody mother and father. He's got to belong to a world that'll look after him properly. Starting at school, ending in bedtime. That's not the real world, Trez. He's not ready for the real world. Not yet. There's other ADHD kids in the mainstream. Not all of them. And they haven't tried to kill themselves. Doesn't he even get to sleep in his own bed? I hate the idea of that as well. But what I want and what he needs... I know how different things are between you now. A dad hasn't he just been a name lately, you know? I've seen that. Oh, have you? Why are you doing this, then? I just went to have a look. <sighs> no, you've made up your mind already. I thought so. That comes between you and your opinions, does it? Nothing comes between me and what I want for my child. Not even you. If you hadn't left, I'd still feel the same. I've always felt like that. And that's not me betraying you. That's... who I gave birth to. I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to start divorce proceedings. Who would I say? My son? I got rid of him once by leaving him. I don't want to get rid of him again. And that's what he's going to think. That we're dumping him. So, you looking forward to getting back? Got a stomach ache. You'll be all right once you start. How do you know? It's just because you're nervous, and that's understandable. But you know, 
see everybody in here. They're all going to be doing their best to make sure that you fit back in okay. You'll be okay. How will I be okay? I wasn't okay before. You have to go to school, Dan. Bye, son. They've got all these activities after school, so when school's finished, you can do um, karate, uh, youth club, football. There's an art club, Nintendo. Cool. But who'll come pick me up? You'll come home at weekends, Danny, in a taxi. It's a residential school. That means you stop there from Monday to Friday. All on my own. Will you be in a dorm with the other boys? That's not what I mean. Where will you be? No. You can talk to me every night on the phone. It'd be so busy, you probably won't even have time to talk to me. Don't fucking want to talk to you. Hey, come on. Dan. I thought you liked me now. We don't want to send you there for a punishment, darling. Please don't think that. We want your life to be easier, not harder, and the school know how to. You're only sending me there because I'm not like anybody else. Yeah. You are different, Dan. But that makes you special. I don't want to be special. Well, look, nothing's definite. Alex, you can't do that now. Look at him. Dan, when you were little, I thought I'd never let you out of my sight. Never let go of your hand when we were out. Then you got a bit older, but I still had to keep an eye on you. Call out to you, make sure you were near. But letting you go to this school, Dan, doesn't mean I'm gonna let go of you. I'm not gonna do that, sweetheart. Next. Shall I try to play these on? Just throw them in the basket, I'll try them later. House won't be the same without you, you know. I feel like your mum does. Yeah, but I believe mum. Right. What can I do, Dan? Tori at trees next. Toothbrush, toothpaste, face cloth, bath towel, soap, hairbrush, shampoo. Wash back. Dan. Danny.
Michelle, where are you? Leave me alone! Your arms around my neck, you'll be okay. It's okay. It's okay. I've got you. I've got you. Right. I've been everywhere looking for you. Up and down the escalators. I've been all over the bloody shop. Your feet are wet. I know. Why? Well, I had to go in there and get you. Did you hear me calling? Yeah. I heard you calling. Weird you not being here. You've always been here, right in my face. So you're glad then? Dunno really. It'd just be weird. Just be you, mum and dad really. Just you and them two. You'll be like an only child. That's why you won't miss me. You never said that. They're gonna give me loads of pocket money. They feel a bit guilty about not seeing me during the week. You're lucky. Yeah. Over you go. Over you go. Over you go. Come on, Nile. Over the top. Over the top. Nice surroundings. I told you it's better than where you go. We also think it's best if their parents don't come into the dorm with them because they may get upset with other kids there. It's not a good idea. We can't go in with him. Where do we say goodbye to him then? Here, if that's OK. <coughs> Emily, put your drawing up on the wall. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. uh, Danny, this is Vera. She's going to be in charge of looking after you. Hello, Danny. We're really looking forward to having you here with us. I'm your mum, all right? I'm your mum, and I'll always be your mum. And I love you very much. I've got to go now, Mum. Just get some of these PlayStation games on it. It's best if you stick that over your shoulder. Dad. See you later. See you later. Don't worry, we look after him. I'm going around to see Bella. You've only just got back. OK. We're not, we're not going to see very much of you at all in the next few years, are we? Well, when I'm out, I'll be able to call you and tell you where I am on my mobile. The one you're going to get me. See you later. in good hands. It'll be good for us too. 
easier. I'm looking forward to it. Shouldn't see that. Why not? Because it sounds no. Not very parental. This is nice. Urgent, couldn't you have rung? It's not something I can explain easily on the phone. Come on. Thank you. Please try not to disturb the other children. What's wrong, Dad? No, there's nothing to worry about. I just wanted you to know how quickly I can be here. How easy. If you want me. Anytime you like, really. Did you just come here to say that? Up day three. In a car. OK. My baby. We sweetheart. Me man, me Danny Dumbling face, best looking kid in the whole school. Dad. Ah, don't pretend you don't like it, you love it. I love it. Night. Night. Is that what you couldn't explain on the phone? Yeah. 